I really like this sketch from Rich Kristoff because it kind of shows the essence of the Chief platform. And on the Chief you have, of course, you have the cast wheels, uh, mid-mount pegs, low bars, uh, solo seat, you have the stripped fork, you have stripped shocks, and it's kind of this really basic blank canvas kind of bike. Customizing being such an important part of the whole project. I mean, I, I constantly kept repeating, customizing is key. Uh, of course, we constantly did sketches of customized versions, like turning, turning up the volume for different eras or different styles to see if the, the, the bike would work like that. Um, like this one, you know, it has our accessory uh, mufflers, but with old school tips, uh, we have a lower bar on it. Uh, the floating solar seat, you put a different paint job on it and boom, the bike is, it really feels, uh, you know, late 40s, like cut down barber, you know, you really have that kind of style. Or if you want to go a little bit forward and, you know, like um, late 50s, early 60s, you know, you put a flame job on that bike, you add some more chrome, another set of accessory uh, mufflers and tips, you have our floating solar seat, maybe different upholstery, uh, maybe add some thin uh, white wall stripe tires and all of a sudden you have again a yet another totally different flavor and and this is kind of the essence of the whole customizing is key like you add those little elements you turn some knobs and you get just the feeling that the bike belongs in a different era or a different personality you give it a different personality that really fits you and that's what it's all about you know the perfect blank canvas So I mean, in order to take the tank off, two, two bolts here in the front, fold down the clamps, uh, lift it, and from there you basically just, you know, unhook the fuel hoses and you're good to go. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Easy to work on. The tank is just attached to, in, with two bolts in the front, and once those are off, you can you can basically, yeah, just, just flip it out. And, and now you see how much work we actually put in on the, on the backside of this. On the, you, know, you can take the tank off and you're not gonna get depressed. It's, it's a nice, clean steel frame. Uh, all the cables are routed inside. And it's just, you know, you wanna put a small peanut tank or whatever on it, it's, it's, it's just good to go. And yeah, it, it takes a lot of work to do this, but I think it's totally worth it. This was super important, like customizing is key. That's what we said throughout the whole project. So, so everything should be super easy to work on, easy to understand how it goes together. You should see the, the nuts and bolts that, that holds the parts in place. And, you know, simple, mechanical, raw, and yeah, su super easy to, to take apart. It always amazes me in today's industry how hard it is to keep things simple. You know, it's very easy to complicate things, but very complicated to keep it simple. So, you know, we, wait, we went through a lot of work just to, to keep it nice and clean, keep it tidy, uh, you know, everything easy to access, you understand how things goes together, and, you know, easy to work on it. And this is a bike that, you know, it should look good naked, and it should look good fully dressed. This is another one of those things that just, you know, drove all of us nuts in the team at some point, right? You're working on a bike, you want to take the blinkers off and there's an ugly lead behind. Uh, or the whole thing is made in plastic and you, you walk by the bike and you break the whole plastic thing off. So in order to just keep it simple, we, we decided to do like a two-piece uh, two piece version. So you have a metal bracket holding the blinker, metal bracket goes on the subframe, subframe, goes with four bolts on the main frame and you know again easy to access all the bolts um, everything is nice and tidy we also have a cover to cover up all the package uh, that we package under the seat in case you want to run the floating seat the floating bobber seat and we already prepared so the brackets are already there and if you want that old school uh, floating uh, bobber seat look 
So yeah, everything again, customizing is key. And the whole team came together, Ron, Brandon, and of course, Rich, who, who was the principal designer of the bike. Everyone worked together to make sure that, you know, uh, yeah, keep it simple and customizing is key.